Ushoku Tensei season two, episode three. This one's called Abrupt Approach. Remember to check out that Patreon link down below if you guys want early access and uncut versions of every reaction on the channel. Please leave a like on this video because it really does boost the channel with the algorithm. Let's not waste any more time. Hop right into today's episode. Uh, Mushoku, episode three, abrupt approach. Let's do it. So since that night, we've been working with them almost constantly. We lost Mamir, but we still have everyone else. Yeah, we gotta get that fixed or replaced. That seems like a nice little date. Going knife shopping with the adventure gal. You know, Suzanne's just like, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. A date. Yes. I also saw Chibi tweeted that Bind, Studio Bind, confirmed that they wanted to do all of Mushoku Tensei, like the entirety of the story, light novels, and everything. So I've been told that that's going to be well over 100 plus episodes. And so I have the firm belief that we're going to have this show for the next few years, at least three or four years. And I'm very excited about that. Love me some Mushoku Tensei. All right, Rudy, we, we got to be cool. We're not going to. That's a good thing. We love that. We're not going to take advantage of Sarah. That's what I'm saying. We don't want. We can't be going too far. I don't know. You know, the arm over the, the hip, arm over the shoulder. That's not a bad move. We need to be very careful. He said, Eris who? We got Sarah now. He said, I need to be tipsy for this. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And this day and age, you have to be certain. Yeah, Sarah is a smart cookie. Yeah, she knows what that means. I mean, you just got to keep playing it like you've been doing. Be a good guy. Play it cool. There's a reason you went over everyone you meet, Rudy. You might have some issues, some flaws, but deep down, you're a good guy. This is either going to go amazingly amazing or it's going to go horribly horrible. And I really don't see much in between, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> okay. Sarah and Rudy. I mean, this definitely is not. Uh, my man's is having some performance issues and if i had to assume why it's because he's in love with eris still and silent is one of the worst ways to describe your body in that situation this can make a man go through pure anxiety right this, that's the exact issue you know I hope she doesn't mean that, but I hope she's just saying that to... Yeah, when I said horribly horrible, that was pretty horribly horrible. Oh, this is the most drunk we have ever seen Rudy. Oh, no. This is a recipe for disaster. He is letting out a lot of frustration right now. And he's just tanking it. He wants that to be Sarah and everyone else. Oh. And Eris. It's he it's like a therapist. He's letting out things he's been holding on to for a long time. Damn. That is very sad. Very just like I never knew his name, Soul. He's like, I didn't know you were going through it that bad, you know? No, he's fully venting to him. Shout out Soul for listening. Ah, he's like, I get it, buddy. 
No matter what happens, he will never get over Eris. If you have the life of Rudy, you lose your virginity, you travel the world for years, you do everything you and Eris have been through, you know? Yeah, you are not getting over Eris. I feel so bad for my man. Souls like in my days, you never know. Realistically, though, it's not. It was more on her. It was way more on Eris than it was on Rudy, you know? She just wanted to feel like less dependent on you, you know? We're going to the red light district. We just had insane sexual frustration and we're going right back into it? Okay. Now, these are very mature women. These women age like a fine wine. Anytime I see a red light district now, I always think of Demon Slayer or Don Machi. Especially Don Machi. When we were cleaning the snow or like in that. Yeah, I remember that during the opening. Yeah, that's her sister. That's nice. See, it's like, I want, I gotta pause it because I want to clear this off my mind. This is why it's so awkward when I'm watching these scenes, because I'm like, I want Rudy and Eris to be together. I, I, I really enjoy them. I really enjoy their company. Every All season one, this, that, and the third. But she made the very adult decision to leave and work on herself, be independent. So I want long term goal. I want them to be together. Short term goal. I want Rudy to get over Eris and live his life. Do as much adventurous stuff as he can. Not necessarily sexual, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, don't, don't bog your mind down with Eris. She's not bogging... She might be bogging her mind down with you. I can't say that. But... あ、そうか。ダメか。うやくに立てず申し訳ありません。もしかすると、ルーディウス様が恐れないで済むような絶対に嫌われないと思えるような相手が。あ。Oh. That is actually a reason. That's a very good reason as to why he's just sexually... He's not sexually frustrated. He's sexually scared. He's scared to allow himself to be vulnerable to anyone to then allow himself to get hurt like Eris did. I didn't even think about it like that. Thank you, Elise. Is there any... Yeah, you're not gonna fuck your old sensei. It does need to be nurtured. That's, yeah, to allow full trust and full vulnerability, this, that, and the third. Maybe stay at the floor above. Get used to it a little bit, you know? There's no shame in wanting to build a slow relationship, you know? Like, the guy is always known as the fast one, but there's no shame in being the slow one. That's why I was saying, I really hope she didn't mean that when she said that at the end. She genuinely does seem like she likes Rudy, but then also, you know, I don't know. This man is hungover, still drunk. If you've ever woken up the next morning and you're still drunk, you know how Rudy feels. Those are the... Oh, I hate that. She's right behind you, isn't she? There's Sarah. Rudy! Rudy! Quit while you're... Bro, if there was a main character that excelled in fumbling the bag, it would be Rudy, bro. And now we're probably... Yeah. We're probably not gonna work with Counter Arrow again. Or else, no, we we actually can't now. I'm like soul right now. I'm like, God damn it, Rudy. He's gonna commit. Oh my God, he actually tried. I thought he was just trolling. Cause we gotta get the fuck out of this town, this nation, this kingdom, this country, continent. Get the fuck out of here. Want to come with us? I actually like soul right now. I'm actually. Oh, I'd be down. I would be down. It might, it might be a pity offer. 
Yeah, he knows the reason. He knows your backstory. He pretty much just, you know, he knows the reason why you are the way you are. Soul Dat. That's his whole name? Soul Dat? Shout out to us getting a second impression on a guy. I'm really hoping that it doesn't change and he's still cool throughout the remainder of the time I know him. But I would be down to go on an adventure with you in the labyrinth, sir. And, side note, he's hella strong. So I'm very down. I was... A depressing ass episode. Wow. So it looks like we have a uh, after credit scene. Is that Alina Lise? <laughs> I just thought of it, actually. Okay. I'm hoping we actually make some progress now. Finding Roxy, finding Mama. Well, like I said a second ago, that was a very depressing episode. Rudy went through the ringer. I was really enjoying what was going on with Sarah. But at the end, I'm now very glad that we are distancing ourselves and leaving. Not anything wrong with Sarah. Like, I, I, I think she has some flaws, you know, just like everyone does. But I think she's a good person. Same with Suzanne, uh, Patrice, Timothy, RIP Mamir. We have to move on. Shout out Soldat for helping us tremendously this episode, at least getting to the bottom, the root of why we are the way we are. Rudy, if anything else, needed to at least let out his frustration, vent his anger, this, that, and the third. And Soul definitely allowed us to do that. Shout out to Elise, the red light worker, we'll call her, and for doing everything in her power to help Rudy. And, you know, I, I liked her. I liked her. I would... I might stay the night with her. I might give her some of my time. But all in all, I'm just, it's so awkward for me. I cannot believe how that ended with Sarah and Suzanne. But I'm glad we're going to go do some adventuring and get out of here. I have heard from some comments uh, on the channel that we should be getting another time skip sometime soon. I don't know when, just throughout the season, which I am super down. The biggest thing that I personally want is a reunion between I feel like Game of Thrones with how long it's been since we've had a reunion. I want a Roxy Rudy reunion and I want a Rudy Sophie reunion. Very bad. Eris? Not even worried about Eris. We need some time. We need to get over her. We need to develop, mature. She needs to develop, mature. When that does happen, that's going to be a game changer. But until then, I'm loving this show. Cannot wait for more. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.